Welcome back to another episode of the Planet Coaster series, Spooky Edition. And I didn't really do much outside of this last episode. I added this stuff to kind of clear, um, hide the big gap between the buildings, and I added this guy. He sneaks in and then sneaks back out like that. Uh, Alright, so... Not sure really what to do because we're losing money. It said so in the last month. Um, in the finances, we were in like negative 178 from our ride tickets. <coughs> so I'm not sure why that's the case. Um, we did nothing but increase the prices and it's not like people were riding this less than they were. I really want to move it so that this box is closer to the exit so that the mechanic doesn't take a freaking age and a half to do his work. Um, but I don't know how much that would take to get working. So I might give that a try right now. So something interesting. I went to try to move this, right? Um, I got it. And I was moving it. But apparently it costs money like I mean that that would make sense you'd expect that but um what I don't understand is that it's let's see can I click no in, for some reason we're now nine hundred dollars in the negative and I don't think we were there when we first started so I'm probably gonna load <laughs> so I'll be right back and see if Maybe we were just gotten to that point and I hadn't realized it. Alright, so we're back to where we started. We'll give it a couple minutes to see if all of a sudden we go down to 900 for some reason. Negative 900. Um, what are- can you reset these for the defaults? I don't think you can, which is a little unfortunate because I don't know what they were at. But I kind of want to increase everything by 50 cents. Because no. we need all the income we can get. 850 and then 9. Though why the cheese pizza would be the most expensive is a bit beyond me. I think that would be the cheapest, but who knows. You can put extras on them too. I don't know if those cost, so let's see. Monthly running costs 400. If we add extra cheese, it is 403. Okay. So perhaps we shall remove the extra. Oop, no, I want to keep that. Take off the extras on the ice creams that we had for right now. Hopefully that doesn't make it too expensive. Um, let's see, do they still go in? Yeah. I'm not seeing anyone complaining about the price. Nope, as it is, our this line is too full. <laughs> They're gonna start complaining about not being able to get what they want in a timely fashion, but that's fine. That's okay with me. We don't want to be having those extra- any extra charges. I know it's only like nine dollars a month to have those toppings on those ice creams, but we're in the negative, so anywhere I could cut it, that's what I'm gonna do. I really want to get this swapped around, but I guess I'll have to wait. I could maybe potentially just switch the entrance and the exit, but then the entrance probably wouldn't have the same um what scenery. Unless I did something like they were right next to each other, so they came on and exit pretty much in the same location and have the exit come out the side right here which might not be a terrible idea maybe that's what I'll do I'll give that a whirl and then uh, come back and see how that is I guess we'll never know if that'll work <laughs> we won't for a little bit because what causes that drop in the $900 is those people leaving that queue so shutting down the 
putting this in a test or adjusting the path in any capacity will cost us over a thousand dollars. Um, so I guess we'll just leave them in that queue for sure. Um, that does make me kind of want to drop this down to 16 because if it's not necessarily when they get on the ride, but when they enter the line, having more people in the line might be better. Um, let's double check that this still has, no, let's remove that min, um, so that as soon as it's full, it will go. It seems somehow that changed, like, they are now walking off the coaster, or the ride. So, oops. That's not a lot to do here. So many rides. Um... So I don't know that they got to do this ride, but they I probably still paid me, so I guess I'm not too upset about that. Um, not super positive, though. <coughs> Alright, so that just filled up. Is it going to go right away? Yes, okay. So that should cut down a little bit on the time that they have to wait in the line. 25. That took down like four minutes of waiting. Not a whole lot, but that's some. I'll take whatever I can get. So how much is the bathroom costing us? 30, 40 bucks. Uh, I could up it to a dollar. No one's really complaining. We'll bump it up to a dollar for right now and see how that works. Um... Lifetime profit, we're still in the negative with this. <coughs> Last month's profit was $20, so that wasn't exactly worth it, was it? And this one's last month profits were 50 bucks. People are certainly more thirsty than they are hungry. Whatever works, whatever gets them buying stuff and keeping them happy. It's more about them being happy at this point. Um, because, like I said, it's not exactly making a whole lot of, um, you alright there? It's not making us a lot of money. So, really want to get another ride in, but we are still losing money. It's kind of a slow trickle, but it is a trickle in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, what are people thinking? Not enough reason to stick around. Sorry. Just ride the same ride all over and over and over, okay? Can't stay longer, but there's nothing to do. Alright. So they're mostly just upset about the lack of rides. Which is fair. Monthly profit, negative $99. And the park rating has gone down $2. Um... Our top good thought is that the park entry is free, followed by I want to go on to that ride, which I want to change the name of, and then 40% wish there were more rides. But Tony think it's a great park, even if it is one ride in food. It's almost closer to a shopping center at this point. Uh, let's change the name to like, I don't know, Witch's Brew or something like that. That looks like a potion. Or a, an ingredient you'd put into a brew. You are a witch. This guy is probably... Yeah, this my work isn't pushing me enough. Well, yeah, there's one ride for you to maintain, so... Yeah, I'm trying to decide the line between having people upset that they can't line up, or... Ugh, yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, we're kind of fluctuating between... Increasing and decreasing in our money. We bumped up to the 600 and now we're back down into the 500s. So we're kind of sticking even at this very moment. Um, as soon as this dude has to go in there though, it's going to probably decrease it quite a bit. Still kind of want to get four or five minutes. All right. Ooh. We need nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars, and as soon as we get that, I am placing this ride, <laughs> whether we can afford an entrance or not. <laughs> <coughs> so 
So I'm gonna just sit here for a little bit and kind of let it run and see what it does. Get. I forgot to start my recording. So <laughs> we uh, finished one of the challenges, the challenge to make a bonus of $500 in the shops. And that gave us $1,000, which then allowed me to place this guy. I have went ahead and put the box by the exit on this side of the thing. I expanded the path. It's a little thicker right here, as you can see. But I just, I'd rather these paths do so, um, because crowding is going to become a problem in the near future. Okay, not near future, but in the future. It'll be a problem. Um, so, I actually might even want to... Oh no. Okay. Let's leave that guy there. <laughs> uh, let's increase the width to maybe seven. Doesn't look like seven. Okay. Now can I delete this guy and make it straight? I want it straight. Alright, fine. Fine. Stay that way. Um, I also want to build the entrance path on a grid. And to do so, I need a building item. Ho I'm hoping that this right here is not going to count. Okay. <coughs> That's what I was trying to figure out when I realized that I was not recording. Alright, so we need some kind of building cryptic arch. Okay, yes, that is a building item. Okay. Let's see. Let's snap. Well, that, is that straight to this? Not quite, though. I take my I change my mind on snap in there. All right, so we'll try to just eyeball it and make it flat with this. I say that's pretty solid. All right, so now I can select grid. That guy. Paths. We're we're snapping to this. Um, do we want square edges? Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. Can I do that with the entrance? Okay. So, uh, I don't want that to be entrance right away. I'd rather that be the normal path for a little bit because I'm going to have this be a, a maze of sorts. And I want them to be able to walk around in the maze before getting onto the queue. So we'll do that and then we'll switch to the queue and continue the queue from here. Maybe do a corner like so. Is this significantly wider? No. Just the width of um, what you'd expect. So could I do that and then <clears throat> be done there? Well that's a weird shape. You think I can make that work? <laughs> uh, let's try going back to being selected onto this grid. Do those two. Get out of the selected grid. Alright, so we'll be following a maze into here. Is that queue long enough, you think? I ask you like you can respond. <sighs> I suppose if it's any longer, it will be. Um, the wait time will be pretty bad. So I guess that's okay. Um, I want to go back to doing this, select a grid. Just some uh, dead ends over here. Maybe there. Have this path split and turn a corner. We'll have to look into. Um, is this connected technically? Connect entrance to the path. <clears throat> Why you gotta be so funny looking? <laughs> Specifically took the time to make this so lovely. I'll have to decorate it in a way to cover that. <clears throat> can I... I don't know if I can adjust the paths once they're placed. Because I don't actually want that railing there. Railing on Q, railing on ground. It says no. So why are you giving me a railing? Because these are clearly railings. <laughs> Maybe they just automatically give those on the... Wait. Entrance. Yeah. It says on the queue right here, railing on the ground is unchecked, so it shouldn't be doing that, but it is on both of them. Well, it'll just keep the people in line. 
We got a new challenge. Achieve the park balance of 20. I think we had that. Build a coaster with two sections of airtime. We're not doing that yet. And achieve a monthly profit of 750. <clears throat> so increased from the last time that we had that challenge. So let's go back to selecting this grid and then yeah why don't we throw in a loop and we'll see how this looks uh, when we decorate it um, I'm looking for I don't know if it would be in buildings I don't know what kind of materials will work for this is that just like weird wood it is okay um let's clear this I'm looking for like a sh tall shrubbery wall we probably don't have that here unless we want to like cheat and turn like a normal wall green but I think that it'll be clear that they're not bushes so let's check there's a section in here of topiaries I believe it's pronounced I'm not sure so we might just have to stack these guys up and build it up so I might do a little bit of a sped up version of this but I might not be able to really afford much so we should probably go back to running and turn this guy on so that I can afford to decorate it um, you'll give me one moment I went ahead and checked that list of the ways we should have this ride uh, sequenced and it says just do the, <laughs> the number one seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let that run. Slow that down. Are we going? Are we playing? We're good. We're still recording. So it's bonus. <laughs> believe it or not um, we also need to connect this path with the main path like so so can I move this without ruining the grid and everything yeah I want the entrance like right here with that weird shape it's probably because the path is set to like seven or something when it's not on the grid that's fine Kind of looks good and kind of like shows the way you need to go in. So I'm alright with that. <coughs> Let's move this guy. This doesn't look, um. There we go. Luckily, these things overlapping each other doesn't look awful. Like, you don't get weird. Uh, what are those called? Flickering from the layers overlapping. So you can, there's three there, but it doesn't look awful. You don't see the, the layers competing with each other. All right, so this is going to be going for a little bit. We need to get the exit path while we can still afford it. Uh, let's drop that down to back to four. Come out and then go out like this. That's a weird, can we go straight? Uh, guess not. <laughs> I think the problem is <coughs> is we have this I don't know if I like that any better. <laughs> this main path that we have is quite diagonal on the grand scheme of things like the grid is here and over so we're kind of going from the corner to the other corner. So I think that's why sometimes these things are a little strange when they wouldn't normally be. It's because we're working on a strange grid from normal. But I think that'll be it for this episode. We got the tea pots going. <coughs> Eventually we'll be able to open them up with the tests. Let's get these colors changed though. Let's go like a uh, sick kind of green. That is too green. Let's go with a weird green color. Maybe some black. Ooh, that helps. That helps a lot. I like that. Uh, do we want to go like super red? Anyway, I'll probably continue working on these colors to make them look nice. Ooh, let's open this. Open up. 
Yes. So now we can get some monies from this setup. I don't think green's gonna work. Maybe that acid green will work. Ooh, I don't think so. Anyway, we gotta end this episode. <laughs> this is clearly starting to be a problem for me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.